Hi, uh, my name is Ken Ang Leongto. I am part of the Singles Ministry in the Westside Church. I've been part of the Westside Church for since 1993. I'm half Filipino, half Chinese. In fact, my last name is my grandfather's full name, Ang Leong To. I grew up in Manila, Philippines, uh, in Mandaluyong. I grew up fairly, fairly, fairly wealthy. My grandfather started a shipping company in Davao City, and uh, and my dad continued that, and uh, he grew that company. He really, really worked hard. Really just give us that future and my mom was the one who got in there and just uh, gave us the hugs and really spoke to us. My dad was more like the provider, the, the, the strong provider. In my own family, there's there's always a distinct line. There's the family side and the mom side. The mom side is purely Filipino. I remember whenever I speak Tagalog, yeah, sometimes my aunt would tell me to speak English and I have to, I have to speak English. We didn't speak Chinese. Uh, she somehow considered that like uh, an embarrassment. Only our family is close. Like, hey, if something happens, we're, we're there. We're there for you. In the Philippines, we just show up to our friend's house unannounced. Not a big deal. There's very few people that could do that here. <laughs> very few. My dad was not a Christian. And uh, my mom's a diehard Catholic. We'd go to a Catholic Mass every Sunday. I graduated from uh, University of the Philippines and I started working as a video editor for uh, first for University of the Philippines as a teacher training center. Then I started working as in APS-CBN, which is a TV station. And I, it was self, pure selfish ambition and vanity. I wanted to, I wanted to go to film school, and and I got into UCLA and. Uh, and just what happens that my cousin was who I, who I hung around with a lot. He lived in the Pomona. He said that you need God in your life. Like, yeah, sure, whatever. You need God in your life. Maybe you can join a church group and have some friends. And okay, sure, sure, I get it. Okay, fine. And of course, the following day, a sister reaches out to me. God found me, and like, like God, God pulled strings. He brought me all the way out of my comfort zone in Manila. I found more of my identity here instead of just living in the Philippines where I was with my shelter, my, with the family. People tell me that that's weird. I mean, you had a good life there. Would you come all the way here just to risk it all? But that's what God had to do to get me saved. I love the happy-go-lucky nature of Filipinos. It takes a lot to really upset us. And I want to have more of that. I mean, I know that can that can be a little. Uh, it can be a little uh, detrimental because sometimes it can be just like a, you know the whole house is burning down and still be there s smiling and clapping. But in some ways, it's it's uh, that's what gives us our strength. People are happier with less, especially with the disciples there, because a vast majority of the disciples there are um, are not well to do, not not wealthy and especially in the hope projects and uh, just to see how giving people are. And uh, one of the great cool things, we are not wanting for volunteers in the hope projects. Like there's always a busload of uh, interns, nurses coming from some college somewhere, dentists would coming and they would help out and uh, pro bono. Like uh, a lot of times they, uh, there's some doctors there like, oh, uh, we assume that there were disciples there, but no, they were not disciples. They're, sometimes they're not even Christian. They're just there to, you know, to help out. They want, they want to give to the community. And, uh, and, and it's cool that uh, they told us that uh, the Hope Project's there. They sometimes they plant the church, they plant the Hope thing, the Hope Center first, then they plant the church. And uh, that's, and because that's, it goes hand in hand, literally, it's hand in hand. And the really just Christianity, two fa facets of Christianity in action. We go to the church in Norway, it's different. The church in Philippines is different. Even within the United States, you go to California, you go to Nashville, it's, it's kind of like a different kind of feel. Hey, it feels different. You go from LA, go to Palm Springs, it feels different. But uh, I think that's where it ties in that they you know no matter how different we are, that we are all one church family. And there's each person has something some strength that we have to give and we can learn a lot from each other because definitely humility is a major part of being a disciple and we're supposed to learn not to think that we have arrived but there's always something to learn from each other there's something to love more about each other i'm sure there's something we can learn about the the disciples in manila but at the same time they can learn a lot about us from us as well so